Thank you for joining us for today's post-game press conference with head, head men's soccer coach, Richard Nuttle. Coach, uh, why don't you give us your thoughts following today's win over Drexel? A really solid win. Um, I liked our energy, our defensive togetherness. And, uh, you know, and then we have a, a few special players who, who can make things happen. I, I think those three, uh, the combination of those three, without even particularly playing great soccer, you know, whether we're playing well or not, we, we're tough to defend because of the different ways we can score. I've got to give a lot of credit to Drex, so that they cause us problems, especially first half, uh, playing through us, playing through our press. I, I, I know they had, uh, it was a bit difficult to get out with a win. Um, the win was definitely a factor and it affected our press and how we could get to uh, get to the ball in time in certain spots on the field. But uh, they're, they're a good side and uh, it, uh, Mike Marchiano is a, a new head coach there and they're going to do well. You can see with their presence and their structure and, and what he's trying to do there. I think it, I think they're going to be solid and, and difficult to beat. Um, and I think they're going to grow as a programme. I, I had a few minutes with him before and you can you can see the, the way they're moving. And, um, you know, they, it's, it's um, onwards and upwards, I think, with Drexel. So it's a, a great win in the end, just a solid great win for us. Coach, for as you know, as as much as you say that Drexel caused you problems with their press, you're still able to score three goals on them today. You know, talk about yeah. uh, the goal scoring efforts from your team. Yeah, I mean, because of our, the nature and makeup of our squad, we've got some talent wide and talent in the box, and then hard work all over the field, and then and I think we well marshaled by George O'Malley as a captain and Luke in midfield. We've got some good pieces. So I think going forward, we're always going to be dangerous because of the talented, especially the wide guys, and then especially the guy, the centre forward, uh, Matt. You know, whether he's having a good day, bad day, or an indifferent day, you know, if you get the ball to him in the box, uh, Matt Volwinkel is going to score uh, more often than not. And uh, again, I think he'll be the first one to say, you know, he competed well with the headers, but he's he's not where he needs to be. So. From that point of view, uh, I'm pleased for him. And uh, it just shows that we've got some pieces to, to score goals. Uh, your team earned seven corners today and you yeah. prevented Drexel from getting any corners. You know, what, was, what were the tactics yeah. uh, employed that, you know, that prevented Drexel from getting any corner opportunities? Yeah, well, we just wanted to keep them in front of us, and that uh, that's not so simple. It's got to come with great one-on-one -on -one defending and collective defending, and then your movement in your centre mid, you've got to keep them where, you, where your footwork's got to be right, and then you've got to block certain channels. So from that point of view, I, we were solid and to give away a corner, which I'm proud of. Um, just a little bit, you know, a couple of little kinks there where we didn't do a good job, especially first half. We, we knew it at half time that our one on one defending, especially wide, wasn't good enough. Uh, we remedied it, you know, we, we got our boys uh, moving the feet a little bit quick. And with the wind being at our backs, it was easier to press. So I, I think that's the key to the game there. Uh, you know, our, our, our unit and our press was good second half. How does it feel to open Con uh, Colonial Athletic Association play with a hard-fought win today? Well, so we've just played 25% of the season and, and the main aim is to get to the playoffs to give yourself a chance of winning the CA so you can advance to the NCAAs and we, we, we're out of the gate 1-0. and all, But we've got three tremendously difficult games coming up. We're two away games at Northeastern and then a home game against Delaware. Delaware and uh, they're good teams, so it's great to get out of the blocks, but we're not looking past, you know, we play NJIT on Tuesday, we're looking at that game next, and then after that, we'll be looking at the next game. So, pleased, but uh, we've got to keep working and, and keep getting better as a group, as a team. I was pleased for the bench as well today. I thought the bench was uh, good. Special mention against the Jason Ramirez, um, who comes on and gives us such energy. He's so unlucky not to be starting, Jason. And from that point of view, you know, we, we do keep having a word, but we just love bringing him off the bench because it, after the game settles settles down and um, it just brings spark, energy and, and, and toughness and, and he gets at other teams. So uh, really pleased for Jason too. 
Coach, you mentioned your next opponent, New Jersey Institute of Technology. Um, on a short rest, what do you what do you uh, see from I think the Highlanders coming into Tuesday's game? Yeah, again, um, I'm brutally honest. Stephen and Sean will be preparing uh, the, the outlook on, on NGIT. We know they were ranked at one point and had a good year last year. They'll be well prepared. We know the coach there. I know the coach there. They're going to be a tough team. A very, very tough team to play against. And we're going to them and playing on their beautiful fields. So we're just looking forward to the challenge. That concludes today's post-game press conference with Coach Richard Nuttall. Coach, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.